What was the name of our lesson? Pursuit of the Slaves. Pursuit of the Slaves. Now, last week, we talked about Pharaoh finally letting God's people go. Where were they at? Egypt. Egypt. Right, they were in bondage. So what was the plague that pushed Pharaoh to finally let the Israelites go? What was it? Huh? Firstborn, right. The firstborn dying of all the Egyptians. So when Pharaoh finally let them go, he let Israel, he freed Israel from bondage. So did he free? Did God set it up so that they were free from bondage but wouldn't know where to go? He gave them a destination. Remember what their destination was? Canaan. Good. Good. They, had a destination. they were released and had a destination. They also had something leading them. Who was leading? Huh? God was. Right. All right. Um, so God led them straight to the land of Canaan? No. Why not? Philistine. Philistine. <laughs> they attacked, they attacked, and then they back. They might run back to Egypt. Good, good. Uh, were, were they prepared? They, okay, they had been just released from bondage. Good, slavery. So were they prepared for war? No. They were released from bondage. God knew this, so he didn't, he didn't put them in that situation. So God led them through what we call the Dark Devil. Wilderness. <laughs> you do that. You do that, right? So God led to the wilderness. And we, we talked about that. Uh, so what request of Joseph did Moses fulfill? What did Joseph ask him to do when he was about to die? Take my phones out of here. Uh, right. Joseph, did, did, did Joseph think that they would be in Egypt forever? No. no. He knew that someday God, he said God will visit you. Yes. Right? Yes. He said that you were going to leave this place. Yes. Glory to God. That is amazing. Joseph told them that. Mm -hmm. Wait a now, now, were they enslaved when Joseph told them that? Were well, they enslaved when Joseph? No, they weren't enslaved when Joseph told them. They were living good. Joseph told them just because they lived. He said, "This is not your destination." Amen. Amen. All right. Um, so, how did the Bible say God actually led them? What did God use to lead them? There's two forms. Cloud by day. Cloud by day. Fill the fire by night. What do we talk about that that cloud by day was also doing? Blocking out the sun. Blocking out the sun. It was extremely hot there. <laughs> but in the desert over there, at nighttime, it gets extremely cold. cold. Yes. So that pillar of fire would also have been warm. <clears throat> okay, so that fire and cloud. Uh, they, they light. But to Pharaoh and his Egyptians, we didn't talk about this, but to Pharaoh and the Egyptians, that pillar of fire and the cloud was also a barrier. Right? Alright, so the route that God led the Hebrew Israelites on made Pharaoh think that Israel was the route that God led the Israelites on when I told you he had them turn this way instead of that way. Mm -hmm. So Pharaoh thought that, that the Israelites were trapped. Mm -hmm. Between what? Um, something in the Red Sea. <laughs> right. Wilderness and the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And it would look like that, right? You know what I'm sure y'all can it, it definitely looked like that. But God was doing
doing what? Setting Pharaoh Setting up. Pharaoh up. Hallelujah. Mm. That's Ooh. right. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Pharaoh yeah. was caught up in his pride and overconfidence. Mm -hmm. Were they trapped? No, no, no. So <clears throat> that was basically the lesson. We talked about a whole lot. But even when Pharaoh looks like he is winning, if we are following God's lead, it is a setup. It's a setup. Come on. It's a setup. Uh, that was <clears throat> that was good. Just a very good. Yeah, it's good. <coughs> good talk back right there. Uh, golden text. Okay, repeat after me. The children of Israel, the children of Israel went up with a high hand, but the Egyptians pursued after them. All the horses and chariots, all the horses and chariots, of Pharaoh and his horsemen and army, and overtook them. Now that word "overtook" really meant caught up, caught up with them. Uh, that's Exodus 14, 8 through 9. Give God a hand, praise